as you probably spotted, we get a lot of big expensive boats on Aquaholic, but I wanted to show you something a little bit more affordable. This is a Parker 850 Voyager. It's a really lovely weekender, sports boat, day boat, just a fun day out on the water really. So I'm going to take you on board of this one and show you what these are all about. So I'm going to wander down, I actually stood on another Parker next to it at the moment, but we'll step down here, have a wander around the back, and I'll show you what it's all about. So the first thing we come across is this Verado 350 engine. That's giving this boat about 42 knots apparently. It's an absolute flying machine with that on. And cruising therefore 26 knots, very, very comfortable. And it's just a wonderful open sort of day space. So we'll step on board just here and I'll show you how all this works. So basically what you've got is he says. <laughs> Looking for the ladder. There we go. We've got a bit of storage in there for the shore power. And then on this side, mess up their ropes. There we go. That's what I was looking for. That's the boarding ladder tucked away underneath there. There we go. And if we spin on around then, what's really nice is this seating area here. What you can do with this is this backrest is on a mechanism that allows it to do that. And now you've got a brilliant place to sit looking out across the water. If you had to anchor somewhere, that'd be absolutely lovely. Let's drop that one back again. And with that that way, you've got this huge seating area right around the table. And in fact, you can do exactly the same up here because this one does that and how cool is that now that's fantastic isn't it this table you can take that out completely if you want to you can fold it like that to give a bit more space for dining around it and then over here we have got a little wet bar like that and that one has got a little cooker underneath it like so and then underneath that is just a bit of storage. So that is that. Let's move that one back the other way. So we've got it into driving configuration. So if you drop that back like that, what you've got now, you've got the helm over here. You've got a lovely seating area next to the helm, but you've also got space here. We will sit across here so you can get what? One, two, three, maybe four, five, six, six or seven people all facing forward when the boat's underway. That's really nice. There's a fridge down underneath this one as well, thusly. And then your helm is here. So what we've got here is a lift bolster. We've got the throttle control here. There's a VHF radio on this one. This is trim tab control. And then there is oh, the volume. <laughs> Killed it. I'll get that out later. There we go, multifunction display underneath there. So that's charts and so forth. And then engine instrumentation. So you've got a uh, rev counter here, fuel gauge, speed, and then you switch gear across here. So lights and all that kind of thing. You've also got this canopy. So all this whole area can be enclosed. There's a section that comes down across the back here as well, of course. But what you can do with this is you can take these side panels out, take the front out. You've got this as a big bimini, or you can just drop the whole thing away and have it completely open. If we come up here, these are steps that take you up to the forward exit. There's an opening section there. You zip this up and that walks you straight out onto the bow. And then finally, if we come around here, we've got the interior. So if we slip down here, what you've got is a big double bed there up in the bow. You've got whole windows in there as well. Also, you've got these skylights, the ceilings. So you've got plenty of natural light into there, which is great. Bit of storage about the place. Like so, that one's a hanging locker. And then we've got, you've got to turn these. <laughs> I keep just pulling them. That one there, drawers underneath there. And you've also got a separate heads in here. There we go, toilet, sink, etc. And what you might not expect is if we spin on round now, we can drop down here and this is, there's a double bed back underneath the cockpit 
a couple of infill cushions there so i guess that is to convert the seating into a bit of sunbathing and we've got that canopy from the back is in there as well and that my friends is about the size of that circuit breakers are here but there's not a lot else to show you it's a very plain simple let's open another cupboard shall we boat So there we are, it's not all super yachts. <laughs> we do this kind of stuff too. All right, let's come back up here. And I am gonna sit here and I'm gonna say massive thanks to Parker Boats for organizing that tour. It's great to bring you something a little bit more affordable. Let me know what you think of that one. And we'll look forward to catching you on another one of these real soon. Take care, bye-bye. <laughs>